I made a boo-boo. But the only reason why I was so confused on the boo-boo was because this poo-poo was real bad doo-doo. <laughs> I actually dragged it and it fucking hurt a lot more. What is that? Ooh, the rubber was so sharp. Hi. Welcome to a more calmer Peter Six Motors. I'm Tom Orisic and Alright, but welcome back to another video. Now <coughs> me and Richard had I made a boo-boo. But the only reason why I was so confused on the boo-boo was because this poo-poo was real bad doo-doo. So, Numbnuts has a car running and all I see is black shit flying out the tailpipes, you know, because he doesn't take care of it. So to me, I'd run my nasty little poop scooper right on the nasty little tip, tip of this. No, I need a wet. I need a wet. I need to do it. I need to do it. To do it. To spit. Rub my nasty little shit finger across this tailpipe as it's spitting fucking gobbles of water. And I'm like, holy poop. That's oil. And the reason why I was so goddamn confused was because the black shit on my finger is the same color and consistency of his oil. <laughs> so, as you can tell, that's my F up. But I, it came to me in a dream. This will be a great video to teach people who don't understand about cars and who are like, wow, I own a turd. So I'm here to run you through on, like, I don't know, the water in the exhaust. There it is. All right, let's get the turd started. Jeez, I almost lost my shoe. Nudie! Starting! spot at that very bottom I see it's always smart to keep your face two centimeters from the from the um, exhaust port because we all know how some people's fathers like to take their mouths to it all right <laughs> we have back pressure <laughs> you can see it you can see it right there for me and going away right, keep, keep it a couple keep it a couple I can't, I can't talk while it's running because I know it's going to be bad audio. Oh, that should be fine. Shit finger? Oh! Let's <laughs> see it. Lucky dag. I'm not doing that. Can we see your finger? Look at that. So, it's not, it didn't do it as good as we wanted it to. We go right there. It didn't do it as good as we wanted it to, but. Hold on, I was just showing what the fuck I stepped on. Because <laughs> the camera went, okay, I just stepped on that beast nest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Fuck. So. Oh, 
Now, what causes moisture and water in the exhaust? Number one thing is a hot engine. Now, when a motor starts for the first time, you know, it's not really warm. The oil's gotta lubricate everything. So as it gets hot, it creates a water vapor and it right inside that, right in that exhaust, you know? Get some water vapor and all that particles mixing them right in the exhaust. So there's one thing that allowed to have water in the exhaust. God, I love this episode. Tom's on the back screaming like a fucking banshee. Another thing is catalytic converters. Now when catalytic converters, when they work, they're converting the pollutants that the motor creates and making them safer for idiots like us to stand on the other end and not die as fast. I mean, if you stand on the other end for like hours on end, yeah, you're gonna die. But the thing is, the catalytic converter is clearing most of that up. It's taking the pollutants that would harm the environment and cleaning that and converting that into a safer gas for the ozone layer. Because you know, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, we didn't care. We just did what we wanted. That's why we're in the positions that we are. But when it converts, it creates water. Water vapor. Yeah, water vapor. Nice. Nice water vapor that ends up sitting inside the exhaust and as the motor is running, it pushes it out. Another, another glorified reason. Let me hold on to here. It's like, it's like I'm right there, right, now, right next to you. But another glorified reason is the engine's running. It's creating nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and water vapor coming from the exhaust chamber and then it goes through the catalytic converter and it just sits in the exhaust. Then you got the mufflers, you got the resonators. That's why most of them are built with um, little holes drilled into them so they're able to drip out and vent. But yeah, as the motor's running, it's producing water vapor, nitrogen, carbon dioxide. Even when it's off too, as the exhaust gases are leaving the chamber, that's what it's producing, putting into the exhaust. And that's also why you see some dripping. So those first three aren't that bad. They're not something to worry about. So we got catalytic converter, hot engine, and then the engine running. And then when you turn it off, you get a little, get a little good stuff coming out of there. But the one that you should look out for is one where it's mainly piston rings. You get that bad odor in the back. And then honestly, it creates moisture due to the fact that sometimes the head gas gets going bad and it's allowing coolant inside the chamber and it's burning but that'll produce a white smoke and it'll also mean yeah there's coolant or there's water flying into the uh, exhaust but that's the gist that's it uh, i don't know i don't know what to say anymore it's a quick video get over it Hey, what's up guys? I know I wasn't in the video today, you know, work, but uh, thanks for watching again. As usual, you know, smack that subscribe button, I don't know. Uh, feel free to comment if you'd like to. And thanks again for tuning into another video of Peter Schick Motors. And until next time. Tom. Hmm. Do you eat ass? No. <laughs> Get your flashlight out. Come here. Do I eat ass? This snail's been chasing some ass. He's trying to eat some ass, dog. That's great. And you know he's a, now you know you're in PA when you got slugs eating Joe's ass. You know when you're in Levittown, <laughs> you see slugs <laughs> eating ass. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. But thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.